tyre pressure, just like all other bike setup things, it's all about compromise really. What works really well one place isn't going to work everywhere. So on that note, we've got sort of Sai, myself and Mark covering all disciplines here, or a few disciplines of mountain biking. Sai rides cross country, I ride enduro, Mark rides downhill. What tyre pressures do you use, Mark? Okay, well, in downhill, obviously, the race is relatively short, so you don't want a puncher to ruin that race. Um, I tend to try and stick to my uh, pressures. I don't run the risk of going too low. So I run in a 650B wheel, uh, we run 175 bar on the front and 185 bars in the rear. I know that's a little bit European, but I had a European mechanic, so that, that was that, I was in bars. Um, we will go down a little bit in really wet weather or very slippery um, conditions or terrain. So Sai, I hear it can be different in cross country. What's your insight on it? Yeah, I think for cross country, it's not just about traction, obviously rolling resistance comes into it. And so to a certain extent, if you've got slightly more pressure in your tire, then the tire's gonna roll a little bit better. Up to a point, obviously, because if it gets too hard, then that's not true at all. But personally, I would rather run a slightly higher volume tire with less tread, so it rolls better, and then have a little bit less pressure in. So actually, I would run probably about 25 PSI, because I suspect I'm significantly less aggressive when I ride. But if I'm completely honest, uh, the pressure gauge on my track pump at home broke and uh, so for two years I just pressed the tyre but I didn't really puncture very much so that was all right. I think that is a good point there that you've made is is like if you have a gauge that you trust just use that gauge don't get swapping between different gauges because I think that they do vary a little bit and you will be getting different readings. Yeah what about you then Donny Enduro from downhill? Yeah I guess Enduro sort of somewhere in the middle you're actually thrashing a trail bike quite hard so less travel than Mark on his downhill bike. So I like to ride pretty firm pressures. I run about 30 on the back because that takes a bit more hammer than the front. Going down to about 28, 26 on the front. Again, a little bit, you know, change that for conditions, but I like to keep them pretty consistent. The thing I find is if I go too low, you know, more than anything, you risk deforming that tire, maybe burping it or just rolling it a little bit. Even if you've got tubes, I think you're just going to pull that tyre a little bit. That is worth saying, actually, is that you run tubeless, right? Yeah. You run tubeless. Yeah. yeah, so do I. So you can get away with lower pressures on tubeless pretty much, can't you? If you hit the rim, it's not always the end of the world. So if I was running inner tubes, I'd stick at least another 5 PSI in, I reckon. What about you? Yeah, I think that's, that's fair to say with tubes. It's uh, slightly more risky. You, you can't... Um, you can't really run the gauntlet on punches. Everybody hates having a puncher, right? Yeah. What about weight, as in body weight? Yeah, I think definitely for heavier, you're gonna to have to put a bit more pressure in. Like I said, the rear one is the one that takes the hits, really. Uh, that's the one that's gonna pinch uh, quickest, really. What about bigger riders on downhill? Yeah, I think that, like, if you, if you take me, for example, as a rule of thumb, I've got, like, one bar difference between front and rear. Our point, it's not a bar at all. It's point one of a bar. Point one of a bar difference. So if that was a rough gauge for anyone who say, I'm sort of 75 kilos, 85 kilos, you're probably going to have to go up a couple of psi, half a bar, um, and kind of work around that as a as a sort of starting point for people just to get out there and try it. To be honest. So as far as tire pressure, I know that when I changed from 26 inch downhill bike to a 650b, there was a minor change. Um, about a bar, 0.1 of a bar, harder on 26 inch. What did you guys um, think of that change? And obviously you've both had experience with 26 inch. Uh, when I went from 26 to 29, I think I went down by three PSI. I used to race at 28 and then now I ride 25. So I think the bigger air volume in a 29er means that I can get away with slightly softer. Or so I think. For me, I think I run pretty similar actually across the board. Um, the travel of the bike makes a bit of difference, I suppose. You know, the lower, the less travel I've got on the back, the more I maybe want to run a firmer tyre, so it's going to take a bit more of a hammering. Well, let's put it out to all the viewers here. Let's see uh, if you leave your tyre pressure tips in the comments. We can get a bit of a, a bit of more of an insight on what you guys think. Obviously, don't forget, you need to check out our how-to videos up there, and then also our trailside maintenance series, which will help if you puncture because you run your tyre pressure too low, then why don't you click down there and watch that. Don't forget, you can always click on us if you want to subscribe to GMBN. They definitely want to. It's free. Should do.